We're trying to overnight boat camp in downtown Miami while avoiding drunk people like this one. We get front row seats to a fireworks show. We're going to show you our overnight setup. Ali catches her biggest fish to date. And you know we got to cook it up for you guys. This is our best adventure yet. You're not going to want to miss this one. Getting the boat ready for an overnight adventure takes a lot of preparation and a lot of work. Here you see all our supplies laid out in the cabin ready to go. We head to our closest boat ramp which is Matheson Hammock Park and Marina and the weather could not be any more perfect. The wind is down, the seas are flat and with our new Suzuki 250 outboard we can spend less time worrying and more time enjoying ourselves out on the water. Until these pelicans decided to show up and terrorize this little lizard and we had to save him. Is he alive? No way, really? Come on. I know, it, it banged you up. Where you live? Maybe another day. Run free! Hopefully that good deed will pay us back. And so far, it sure looks that way. The temperatures are in the high 70s, the seas are less than one foot, and the wind is almost non-existent. So we head offshore to test our luck before heading to our destination for the night. We trolled a couple lures for about two hours and came up empty handed. And that seemed to be the case for most of the people that are around us. Except this guy, he was hooked to something big. We never got to see what it was, but he was fighting that thing for a good while. Here's one of Carnival ships leaving the port of Miami. These ships are massive and we're going to show you up close how big they really are. We made our way towards Government Cut where we tried to time the cruise ships leaving the port so we can make a safe entry. Coming up on our starboard side is South Point Pier located in South Beach. This is a local and tourist destination hotspot. Hundreds of people from all over gather here to take photos of the sunset and the cruise ships passing by. And today's sunset did not disappoint. All of the people standing out on the pier definitely got their money's worth. We just snuck by this cruise ship and it is huge. And you can really appreciate how big it is from our little boat. We're getting closer to our destination as we head through the port of Miami towards the city of Miami. And that Miami skyline is unmistakable. But if you really want to see this city come to life, you're going to have to see it at night. Hey everyone, thank you so much for following us up until this point. So we came in here right by Bayside, right at the mouth of the Miami River to get front row seats to the fireworks show. We anchored up, there's a couple other boats anchored up. Um, it's still a little early, it's about seven o'clock. We've got the grill set up. So we're gonna make some what, steaks and yeah, sausages. Yeah, we're gonna make some steaks. And... We're gonna show you what we're gonna do. We're gonna yeah. show you our, our setup in a second. Yeah, our setup. Oh, that heat feels so good. It's so cold out here. <laughs> it's our Life Master Grill. We'll leave the link in the description it's below. It's a little dirty. It's a lot better looking when it's not dirty. We were looking for a great portable grill for the boat, and we found this one. It's got insane reviews. We have been super happy with this one so far. So, to start off, we're going to do a little bit of sausage. Sausage time, right, Fresco? <laughs> and we got a uh, skirt steak with uh, some chimichurri sauce. And then we have some potatoes that we're gonna cook in the pot. We got a churrasco marinating. We're gonna eat this in about three hours. And then we're gonna eat the sausage on these nice little rolls. We got those going. On the grill. What do you think? Like, it's good. Delicious. So good. Toasted buns. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so good. A couple people have showed up. I think it's going to get pretty packed for tonight. So we're firing up the grill again so that we can heat up some water to shower. We brought our shower bag, but it is freezing out here and our water is all very cold. So we're gonna heat up some water here on the grill and take some showers. 
After cleaning up, we laid down in the cabin for about an hour. At this point, there was hundreds of boats around us, but everybody was respectful and kept their distance. But then I heard what sounded like a person five feet from our bow. This video is from after I had pushed the stern of this boat away from ours and avoided collision. Like I mentioned before, up until this point, everybody was respectful and maintained a good distance. But there's always that one. And luckily, we reacted just in time. I guess it comes with the territory. But then again, this is Miami. And the show must go on. The grill is ready. The steaks have been marinating. It's time to finish off 2023 with some steaks. Five more minutes. We had a hard set on staying in front of downtown Miami for the night, but for obvious reasons, we chose a different anchorage. We thought it was best to stay as far away as we could from all the drunk people, because chances are it would only get worse throughout the night. Alright, so we just got to No Name Harbor. We don't like driving at night, but we had no choice. It's flat calm in here. We have to pay a $20 fee to pay over here at the, uh, the ranger station. It's on an honor system. We're gonna go pay that and we're gonna look for a nice anchorage back in there somewhere. Looks like another boat just got in here, but it's flat calm, there's plenty of space and we're gonna get some good sleep in here. Let's go. Come over here. It's eight dollars for the day and twenty dollars overnight. Okay, so we tear this off you know? so we can put it on our boat. Right? Yeah, it's almost like putting it in there. So we got to <laughs> right. Dang. We got proof. We're So we just got to our anchorage. It's like 1.30 in the morning, so it's pretty late. We're going to set up our bathroom set up our cabin and we're going to show you how we do it. We move the cooler out to the side and we're going to set up our little bathroom. No one alley has to use the restroom in the room, right? What are you going to do? We ain't just go overboard. <laughs> <laughs> you off the side? Because I love having my little private shower slash bathroom slash everything here. So. It's huge inside. Yeah, it's so big inside. Great. We'll we can actually around. open. There's a top and there's a back window here that we can open. And a top so we can help it dry out a little bit. Yeah. All right, so here's the setup. It's nice and cozy in here. It's like 60 degrees, right? 59 degrees? 62. So it's 62. So we didn't bring the AC because we don't need it. It's nice out. This is our little setup in here. So we got the eight inch foam mattress that we cut up and uh, we stick all our stuff over there on the side. And uh, it's all our camera stuff, toilet paper, toilet tree stuff. And that's it. All right, we set up our anchor light. Now I gotta set up my anchor alarm. See you in the morning. Steak and eggs for breakfast. Yeah, steak and eggs for breakfast. Fantastic. So we'll see you in the morning. Good night. Good night. It's 10 in the 
morning. We slept all night. We didn't move. Got a really good sleep. There's a couple boats out here that left already. It's a beautiful morning. Check this out. Our bathroom held up all night. The wind's picked up a little bit this morning. That's not really good. And we're both so tired, so we're gonna make some breakfast. Allie's still sleeping. We're gonna make some eggs, steak. There's no name on everyone's awesome. We're protected from the wind. We'll probably be using this spot a lot um, in the future. A little coffee. My favorite coffee ever. Not sponsored. Not sponsored. Wish we were. <laughs> we have a monthly subscription to this company. Black Rifle Coffee Company. So good. Oh my God, it smells like heaven. <laughs> so we got our coffee going. We got some steak from last night. We have our eggs. So we're gonna have steak and eggs for breakfast with some English muffins. But check this grill out and how cool. This thing cranks up to like 700 degrees and it's cool down here and it won't melt. Cause that was one of the concerns I had about mounting it on here is that it will melt the cooler and it's, it's not even, it's just warm. And this thing cranks out some heat. So that's how efficient this barbecue is. We, we love it. Um, so let's get cooking. Muffins going. Eggs are just about done. Delicious breakfast. So we had big breakfast, now we're leaving No Name Harbor and uh, we're gonna try some fishing. It's already 2.30 in the afternoon, we just hung out, chilled. So No Name Harbor is a pretty cool spot, they have a nice restaurant over there. They got decent food and then they have this other spot over here called The Cleat. It's really nice at night, it overlooks the bay, which is really pretty. Um, they have a cool lighthouse, it's, uh, it's called Bill Baggs Park. Um, so they have a cool lighthouse that you can visit, they have a really nice beach. This place is really cool. Sleeping here was fantastic. It was super, super calm. It was literally the opposite of the place we stayed last time. <laughs> yeah, literally the opposite. If you guys saw that video. If you guys have boat camped before, or even camping in general, and you could give us some tips, we'd greatly appreciate it. Um, we're always learning and we always, we're always uh, willing to learn just to make this uh, these trips a lot more enjoyable. So if you guys can give us some pointers, we'd appreciate it. We love, we love all your feedbacks and um, Help us learn. Yeah, help us learn. <laughs> and uh, we always write back in the comments. We always uh, try to engage with all our all our comments. So. We're hooked up. Might do some chum in the water. Got some frozen squid. We're going to try to catch. See what we got chubs flowing around. We got the water's crystal clear, which is great. So check those little chubs out. You can see that there's there's mangrove snapper out a little deeper and looks like maybe some yellowtail. Let's get this moving. And real simple setup. We've got these little jig heads. About two, three feet of uh, 30 pound fluorocarbon and 20 pound mainline. And let's see, let's see what we catch. All right. Hooked up in our first minute. <laughs> a little, little grunt looks like. Nice. Oh. That was quick at least, right? Yeah. Oh, cool. A little tail. Just let him go. There you go, man. What you got? You'll never guess. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you want to come back? You can come back for more. <laughs> there we go. Come on, come on, come on. There you go. Pull it up, pull it up, pull it up, pull it up. I don't know. It's big. Fight, 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 fight. We're on the way down. Come on. No, I'm trying. Come on. It looks like a grouper. Pull, pull, pull. Oh my God. I think it's a red grouper. Look at that. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Look at that. Fish, right? <laughs> okay, okay. okay, hold on. Nice, man. You know? Nice. 
Reaper season literally ended yesterday, right? Reaper season ended yesterday. <laughs> I mean, that's a nice fish. Beautiful. Nah, it wouldn't be legal anyway, but still. But it's still nice. beautiful. Alright, let's get him back in the water. Nice, babe. Oh, nice. Cool. That was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Damn, that was so cool. Yeah, much better. Size. There we go. Oh, that's one. Oh, he's big. That's a good one. A good size mangrove. Wow. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like. Oh, it's a nice snapper. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Oh, look at this. It's oh, amazing. Yeah. <gasps> that's a nice one. Holy shit. Look at the size of that one. It's huge. Yeah. That's a good one. So I, uh, I changed to a bucktail jig. Look at this guy. <laughs> when you work really hard at something you believe in for a long time, sometimes, if you're lucky, you get blessed with a day that seems to just flow effortlessly. And it makes the hard work worthwhile. This was one of those days and we are ever so grateful for it. It's a reminder, for us at least, to get out into nature as often as possible, where stress and anxiety seem to disappear out here. This is where we belong. But for now, we'll meet you in the kitchen. All right, we air fried the lane snapper that we have here and the uh, mangrove snapper that we caught earlier today. We put that in the air fryer, we'll mix up some breadcrumbs, some, egg, um, some eggs, Salt, pepper, garlic, and Old Bay seasoning. Cut up some fresh cilantro, tomatoes, lettuce, and onions, and we toasted some, some buns. And we're gonna make fish sandwiches. So, let's get to eating. We got a little tartar sauce going. Mine, Ellie's making hers. We'll drop some lettuce on here. Okay, I'm doing, I think I'm doing this backwards. Tomato, we got a tomato over there, onions. This one, the mango snapper. This looks so good. And that is the lane. Look at that thing. Mm. I think I'm low on tartar sauce. I need some more tartar sauce. Okay. Look at those things. <laughs> this looks so good. Ooh. The mango snapper, which I know is going to be good. Mm. Oh, so good. And right, now I'm going to try the lane snapper. The lean snapper is, um, it's more flaky, lighter than mangrove. It's weird. It's so good. Oh, wow. Okay, the lean snapper is delicious. They're both really good. They're both really good. But the lean snapper is, like you said, really flaky. The lean snapper is really good. Mm. All right, we're going to eat. See you later. Guys, thank you very much for coming along with us. We had such a good time. We'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.